Two teams that have combined to win 11 Super Bowl titles. The Steelers and the Niners are underway. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Got to like that start. 14 yards to get him going. Okay, ready? First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Play action, now it's Lance. That's complete, it's Brandon Ayuk. And he's gonna be taken down at about the 33. But Charles, did it seem like to you that maybe they were a little worried about his running prowess there? Because everybody kind of froze when he got outside the pocket and they were able to throw it for the first down. Absolutely, and you work all week getting ready for a game and you know that the potential is there for him to run it. But you better take care of those receivers downfield. They can hurt you first. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Throwing his lance on third down. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are going to take possession of the football. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Pickett's throw here complete to Sims. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A first carry for Najee Harris. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Pick it a look to throw it here. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Calling a gain of three on the play. And it'll be fourth down. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And I think there on the left hash mark, he's just aiming down the middle and hoping to hit it true. But this ball Ready, started play. right and start working away from it. And it's going to wind up wide of the mark. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And some room to roam now. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, 49ers. So that's going to be a nice one for the passing stats, and that's how it will go down in the stat sheet. But the success of that play, no doubt, 
all thanks to the talents of the wideout. Oh, he was definitely the recipient of good blocking as well, especially at the line of scrimmage. And once he got around the corner, you got the sense that no one was going to get him. Really nice ball handling, too, in order to get it to him. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second and 15. Shotgun now for Lance. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The center receiver here in motion right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, 49ers! Trey Lance finding Debo Samuel. And the Niners have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works? First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes, I think they're going to keep going to him until a defense makes any kind of an adjustment. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Here's Steven Sims on the return from his end zone. Well, now how about this return? And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second and seven. Pickett, the quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. They brought the house that time on the young rookie. Maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The bring a receiver in motion right. Cut. 
Throwing on second down, Lance. And he will find his man, Samuel. Touchdown! What are you talking about just coming in and completely seizing momentum? They can go up 21 to nothing here. We haven't even hit halftime. And the other part of this, you can start to feel the unrest here in the stadium. I think these fans are saying, what hit us? And this isn't about fantasy points. This is about rooting their team on. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Here's Sims now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here, because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense had... And now off to the races, down the right side. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Charles, they had six DBs out there. They were thinking pass. They surprised him with a long run. I wonder if they saw that and just checked to it. Maybe had an audible and said, you know something? Get six defensive backs. Let's run the football. Let's get our big guys downfield and match up with the littler guys and see if we can create some space. And not only did they create space, they created a path all the way to the end zone. And the 49er hands team does its job. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, you know, whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep. Those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. And down to the 36-yard line here. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get him done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let's go. Ultra. McCaffrey running up the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Two yards the loss. And now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Lance going to throw. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Niners will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Here's Sims now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Steelers take over first and 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. A pretty good-looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Here's Sims now from his end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Steven Sims. And how about that return as he's all the way inside the 20-yard line. During the week, the special teams coach puts together a game plan that he presents to the head coach. And in every game plan, there's one big play that he points to the head coach and says, listen, when we need it, we can go to it. I think they did exactly that on that one. Now a first down carry for Harris. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Pickett. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sims. And the Steelers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because of zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Harris is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Finds Pickens out right. And in for the Steelers, touchdown! George Pickens from four yards out. And the Steelers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point right down the middle, and that cuts the lead to 28-14. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. On first and 10, here's Lance. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. So that one a disaster, a big loss there with second down coming up. Well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. That's just why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call the receiver PR? still gets a point there. Yeah. Oh. And you went that far back. No bueno. But I'll tell you what, I wish I had their defense on, uh, on my fantasy game. 
Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And a terrible towel is in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And the Steelers are going to have it here just past the 25. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They hand this off to Harris. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down at the 38. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. What did you see there, Charles, on that interception from the rookie? They've shown him certain looks on defense throughout the first half. Here we go. And they pulled the string here in the second half because he got used to those looks. And they showed the exact same thing. They changed it up just a little bit where he thought something was open. And now, with the change in defense, it no longer was. 13 yards remaining on second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play. Set, ready. McCaffrey on the counter. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Alex Highsmith making the nice play and getting the sack. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. On the return is Olszewski. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Off play action. Pick it. It's Najee Harris now on back-to-back -back plays with a catch. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To the air on first down with Pickett. It's brought in by Harris. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. 
And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Gold with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown. Deontay Johnson, 83 yards. And the Steelers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Pick it to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the 49er hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. He's got it to the 43 here. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last second, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to let it slip away. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now Lance throws the interception, his third. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. Well, in all likelihood, this ball game's still over. I mean, even with the interception, two-score game, they need a miracle. Curious decision to even throw the ball in that situation, but maybe they saw a stacked line of scrimmage and said, hey, it's better to try and throw than to try and run against it. In any event, I think you're exactly right. Now, the other team can pad their stats, but I think they're going to win. Yeah, but still, don't change the channel just yet. So, from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Pickett. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations, and you often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Amber Thomas. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. 
go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Now pick it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Talanoa Hufanga. And the 49ers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard, but also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player, you have to know the situation. One final shot for Pickett. He'll air this one out deep for Sims. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely.